by attaching a set of veins which radiate outward from the center to the bowl, we can increase the tendency of the oil to rotate with the bowl. This causes more energy to be transferred from the bowl to the liquid. Now let's see what happens when we add a second set of veins. Notice that this set is not connected to the bowl or lower set in any way, but can move freely. The shaft, which has a marker to show rotation, can be likened to the drive shaft of a vehicle. The upper set of veins doesn't revolve at first because the bowl isn't imparting enough energy through the oil to overcome the resistance of the hand holding its shaft. As the speed of the bowl increases, more energy is transmitted, causing the upper set of veins and its shaft to revolve, despite the load exerted on the shaft by the hand. This pressure of the hand can be likened to the load the engine must move.